I went ahead and did a second master's uh, in uh, Islamic studies at Fuller Seminary in California. Obviously, we now know that the sons of Jesus is not biological, it's inherited. It's relational. It's a relational title, as you are related to Australia or I'm related to America. Nothing more, nothing less. But here, here's the real kicker. Why are Muslims even asking the question? That's true, yeah. Why are they asking? Well, because they shouldn't be, because the Quran is very clear that God can have a son. Did you know that? No. In Surah 39, Ayah 4. In Surah 39, it says it very clearly. How's that? It's a contradiction. It seems like because a contradiction, and this really is a kicker because what this is implying, this is implying a biological son. And Muslims are. Aware of this? They're not even aware of this verse. The vast majority of Muslims, whenever I bring this to them, the first been asking me this question because your Quran is very clear it that Allah that. can have a son and it wow. says I'll read it had Allah willed to take a son he could have chosen whom he willed out of those whom he created but glorified is he he is Allah the one the irresistible ah. uh, irresistible so the Quran already admits that Allah can have a son anytime he wants wow it's like so, a hypothetical if he wanted to he could he could he could if the he possibility to. exists in the Quran so why are they even asking the That's question not, why limit him and what's even more interesting he could have his son from those he created. Now, what does that mean? Already it's showing either that, that he could create and create in that, given mm. divine qualities, or that this is a relation, relational title. That's interesting. Muslims need to ask her that question. So really the question should go back on them. How can now Allah have a son? Tell me. And the next time you see a Muslim, and next time they ask that question, go right back to them and say, now you tell me, how do you explain Surah 39, Ayah 4? Because mm. I don't know. I don't understand. It's not even my scripture tell me this, that God can create a son. That's amazing. God can create a son. That is a really how strong point. How can God create a son? I like to know. And I'd like to know Muslims, how are they going to answer that verse? I have never in 29 years heard a Muslim that can answer that verse. Mm. Now, can God make a spread circle if he wants to? If God wants to, yes, certainly he could. He could also make a man. He could also make a human. He could also make come down in the form of a man. That's, That's perfectly in, legitimate, isn't it? In, 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 so, even God can do... Even your Quran admits that. Are you saying... Even your Quran admits that. Excuse me. So 3940. What does it say? What does it say? Oh, if God so oh, had willed it, he could have made a son. If God so willed, he could have had a son. Yeah. So the possibility exists. Excuse me. Excuse me. The possibility exists, does it not? Can I correct you, Mr. Smith? Shall we read it again? Is that bogus PhD? <laughs> don't have a PhD. He said I did. Oh, you have a you have a master. Okay, we have both of masters. What is the word used? Have a son. What's the Arabic word used? I don't know the word off the top of my head. So why is that important? Because the Arabic word will tell you what this means. It's sahaba. If yes. God had willed it, excuse me, that he would have it's mm -hmm. a son. He would have had his son. Now, what does it's sahaba? Yes, sahibu means the possibility does exist. No, what does it mean? What does it mean? I don't it's know. It's like, I take him as my son. This is Ishtahaza, adoption, taking someone. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean I literally beget. That is why you people, you need to learn oh, can, you understand, can you understand? That's exactly what the Bible says too. Excuse me? Don't, don't jump. Does anybody, any don't Christian jump. believe First that the all, Son of God was I, biologically from the God Excuse me, you stop that. Are there anybody we in this crowd that believes an issue. No, can this God is the issue what we're talking about? Can God make a square circle? You said yes, and he said even in your Quran, God says if God wills, he, he could have, have had a son. So I, is there a biological son? Me, no. Excuse me, is it I an inheritance? You. Yes. I corrected and that you is exactly what we're in saying. your understanding that you are mistaken Mansur, in what it means. Mansur, Secondly, as Christians, God, do we believe that God biologically had a son? Do we God, what let's come back to the topic we're discussing. Oh, Don't jump. So if God had willed to, he could have done that. Could he not? The possibility Excuse exists. Me. If God wills, can he cease to exist? I'm asking you. If God will, could he cease to exist? No. There are certain things he could not. Oh. Because he just is free. Why use your brain now? And I'd like to know Muslims, how are they going to answer that verse? I have never in 29 years heard Muslim that can answer that verse. In Surah 39, Ayah 4, 
this is implying a biological son. I don't know the word off the top of my head. So why is that important? What does it mean? What does it mean? I don't it's know. Like, it doesn't mean... In Sura 39, I have four. This is implying a biological son. لو أراد الله أن يتخذ ولدا لاصطفى مما يخلق ما يشاء سبحانه هو الله الواحد القهار This is implying a biological son. I don't know the word off the top of my head. What does it mean? What does it mean? I don't it's know. Like and I'd like to know Muslims, how are they going to answer that verse? I have never in 29 years heard Muslim that can answer that verse. Mm. foremost expert on Islam and Christian apologetics. His name is Jay Smith. You're a hero of mine. Uh, you're a hero of many. Uh, you're a hero of many. You're a hero of mine. Uh, you're a hero of many. Baby. <laughs> There's nothing else I'd rather be. 